Now that we've performed the site survey, uploaded the data to Link Live, and reviewed the results, it's time to look at how we can export the site survey to Air Magnet Survey Pro. Conducting a Wi Fi site survey using AirMapper and uploading the data to Link Live offers several benefits. It provides an easy way for a manager or staff worker at a remote location to perform a Wi Fi site survey without the need to send a Wi Fi engineer out to the site. It also allows the survey data to be easily uploaded and reviewed from anywhere in the world, while also providing an easy means to share the survey results without the need to load special software or worry about operating system support. However, there are times where more in-depth analysis that goes beyond the functionality provided in Link Live is required, or because of policy reasons, an offline solution is needed. If your organization is currently using Air Magnet Survey Pro to conduct and analyze Wi-Fi site surveys, you may want to continue to produce the same reports even if an AirCheck G2 or Etherscope NXG with AirMapper are used to collect the site survey data. In this video, I will go through the process of exporting the site survey data from Link Live and importing the .amp file into AirMagnet Survey Pro. While it is possible to save the .amp file locally on the AirCheck G2 or the Etherscope NXG, it is recommended that you upload the results to Link Live and then download the data to AirMagnet Survey Pro. This simplifies the process of transferring files between the data collector and the cloud and provides the option to share the site survey data through Link Live. The process for exporting the site survey data from Link Live and importing it into AirMagnet Survey Pro is as follows. First, log into Link Live and go to the AirMapper section. From here, click on the desired site survey. In the upper right corner of the screen, you will see three options. Export to Survey Pro, View Analysis, and View Survey. Clicking on Export to Survey Pro will create an .amp file and download it to your computer. This file is typically placed in your downloads directory. After downloading the file, I will run Air Magnet Survey Pro on my computer. I will then click on File, Open Project. I will select the .amp file I downloaded from Link Live. A window will appear allowing me to specify the project directory. In this case, I'll use the recommendation provided by Air Magnet Survey Pro. Clicking OK will convert the AirMapper project into an Air Magnet Survey Pro project. After the conversion is complete, the survey project is displayed on my screen. From here, I can apply filters, change thresholds, generate reports, and use all of the other functionality available on Air Magnet Survey Pro, just as if I perform the site survey using Air Magnet Survey Pro. To summarize, it is recommended that after completing the Wi Fi site survey with AirMapper, you upload the site survey data to Link Live. From Link Live, anyone within your organization can easily select the site survey and download the airmapper.amp file to a computer with AirMagnet Survey Pro installed. The .amp file can then be opened and converted to an AirMagnet Survey Pro project. This workflow allows those people who would like to view the site survey through Link Live to have easy access to the heat maps, and those that would prefer to use AirMagnet Survey Pro can have easy access to the data. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to check out our other videos on using AirMapper to perform Wi-Fi site surveys.